here we have a multigram problem. Whenever I have grams, you can bet I'm going to need my periodic table, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. So I've got my periodic table ready. Same problem as before. This time, instead of going from moles to moles, I want to go from moles to grams. So on my chart over here, I'm understanding that I'm starting with moles of copper oxide, and I'm going, instead of just to moles of carbon and carbon dioxide, I want to then take it a step further and go to, go to grams of both products. So what I'm actually doing is going back to my problem from before on this page. Oops. And I'm doing this first step here just like I did but I'm adding another step to it. All right? So I'm still going to start with my 4.05 moles of copper oxide for both. And I'm still going to convert to moles of both, right? Because that's this first step here. This is what I mean when I said I'm still doing a mole to mole conversion. But I'm taking it a step further, remember? I now need to convert from moles of these substances to grams. So I don't stop with one conversion. I then, oops, it skips black. I then convert to grams. But what it tells me here is that I need to get my molar mass as my conversion factor to convert to grams. So I know moles will go on the bottom, moles of carbon in this case, and over here would be moles of CO2. And on top, well, if it's uh, the molar mass, it's going to be grams of carbon here and grams of CO2 here. And that will give me the answer I'm looking for. Well, I need to get my molar mass for carbon, which is just on the periodic table. I've memorized it, but oops, I've got things in the wrong order here. It's 12.0 one, one, one. So that's how many grams there are of carbon in a mole. 12.0111 in one mole. And that will complete my setup for the first problem. But let's go ahead and just do the setup for the second problem as well. So I need to get the molar mass for carbon dioxide. So that's one carbon and two oxygens. We already know that carbon is 12.0111 grams per mole. And I've memorized oxygen too. It's 15.9994, right? There it is. But you're not gonna have those memorized just yet. 15.9994. Times two, right? Grams per mole. Let me add those up. So I'll do that on my calculator here. 15.9994 times two plus 12.0111. And I get 44.9994. Nine grams per mole, and that is to the proper number of significant digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six significants. So that's going to be the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which belongs here, per one mole. Forty-four point oh oh nine nine. 
All right, so now I can cancel out moles on the bottom. This, whoops, I should have written moles. Let's see, two there. And I should be able to just do my math for both these problems and get the answer that I desire. So for the top, I'm going to do 4.05 divided by 2 times 12.0111. 4.05 divided by 2 times 12.0111. And that gives me to three significant digits. 20, change that to black. 24.3 rams of carbon. And on the bottom, I'm doing similar math. 4.05 divided by 2, this time we're going to multiply by 44.0099. And again, that's going to be to three significant digits. I get 89.1 grams of CO2. So now we know exactly how many grams of carbon we need to actually obtain on a mass balance. This is much more useful in the lab and I can then know exactly how many grams of CO2 I will make from the reaction in a manner I can weigh.